uh, especially all colleagues and students and uh, especially Professor uh, Choi and uh, Professor uh, Yoon uh, for consider us to this workshop. Uh, my talk is about uh, fuzzy regression in uh, fuzzy environment. My talk is <coughs> has two parts. In the first part, I review some uh, motivation of the uh, fuzzy regression modeling and uh, overview two main approaches to fuzzy regression modeling. And then in part two, <coughs> I try to introduce and explain more very briefly uh, three new robust fuzzy regression modeling. As you know, the classical uh, statistical linear regression model is in this form. We have uh, some explanatory or independent variables, one dependent variable, some parameters of the model or coefficients of the variables, and one error term. <coughs> All of the <coughs> observation data of these variables assume to be crisp numbers or exact numbers. We have some uh, statistical assumptions to handling this model. For example, expectation of the uh, error term must be zero, the variance was uh, fixed, and the covariance of the error terms must be equal to zero, and some other statistical assumptions. But in practice, we have some problems with working with this model. The first one is low sample size. The second one, imprecise data or imprecise observations. And the third one is the vagueness in the relationships between variables. <coughs> low sample size, for example, <coughs> in industry due to cost, due to limitation of time, we have just a few sample size, a few samples. A small sample size is in clinical studies due to rare disease, due to ethical consideration. Low sample size yields difficulties verifying distribution assumptions. When we have, for example, two, three, four, five samples, we cannot verify the statistical assumptions. Another problem is due to imprecise data or imprecise observations. For example, in lifetime analysis, measuring the lifetime of a battery may not yield an exact result. A battery may work perfectly over a certain period, but be losing in power for some time, and finally go deep completely at a certain time. So we have imprecise lifetime data, about 1,000 hours, approximately 1,400 hours, almost between 1,000 and 1,200 hours. In social studies, people usually reflect the, their opinions on a social subject in imprecise terms. For example, I more or less agree, I completely agree, I cannot fully agree, and so on. There are uh, a lot of examples uh, so that we have the observations of the independent variables or dependent variable or both of them may be imprecise. Also, we have, <coughs> in some situations, vagueness in the relationships between variables. <coughs> For example, in agricultural studies, an imprecise relationship, be relationship between the amount of dung, dung used and plant ye yield. For example, one more unit of dung applied to a special plants yields a higher growth of about, for example, 8 cm. This is a typical example for vague or fuzzy relationships between two variables. And also another example, uh, because of the time I ignore all of them. The fuzzy relationships yields fuzzy parameters of the model. In this case, in these cases, we have fuzzy parameter. In the second cases, we have fuzzy observations. Also, maybe we have both of them 
or fuzzy numbers or vague quantities. But <coughs> the kinds of regression models <coughs> regarding our past uh, discussions, we have models with fuzzy data, we have models with fuzzy coefficients, and we have models with fuzzy data and fuzzy coefficients. But what are the approaches to fuzzy regression modeling? Two main approaches are discussed in fuzzy regression modeling. The first one, which is also called possibilistic regression, estimate the fuzzy parameters of the model by transforming the problem of estimation to a linear or nonlinear programming problem. This approach was discussed uh, by Professor Watada yesterday morning. In fact, the Professor Tanaka, <coughs> for the first time, introduced this approach. <coughs> the second approach is <coughs> the fuzzy least squares method, which is a generalization of the ordinary or a statistical least squares approach. This is two main approaches to fuzzy regression modeling. Although we have some other uh, approaches, but most of them are based on these two kinds of uh, approaches. <coughs> the possibilistic approach transforms the problem of estimating the fuzzy coefficients of the model to a linear or nonlinear programming problem. For example, in, in the simplest case, <coughs> the simplest case, we have crisp data for explanatory variables and we are going to find a best such a model with fuzzy parameters. <coughs> we have <coughs> crisp input, fuzzy parameters, and fuzzy output. If we assume that the parameters <coughs> to be triangular fuzzy numbers, then the, the function, the linear function, uh, have three parameters. The center of the model, the, the left spread, and the right spread. Then we find the optimum model. We have such data, uh, crisp data, we may more than one we may have more than one uh, explanatory uh, variable and we we are going or we wish to find a best model in this form but based on which criteria in the possibilistic model in the possibilistic regression model we have two uh, criteria for modeling the uh, regression to modeling the data we wish to have these relationships between the observed value of the independent variable and the estimated one. This is the observed value, for example, and this is the estimated one. If we consider this limitation, then we ensure that if each of the observed data have at least degree of uh, membership of H in the predictive, level, predictive uh, value, based on the model. So we have these uh, conditions for each uh, observation and based on M data we have two M, uh, two M uh, limitations for, the, for our programming and also we wish to minimize the uh, uh, total ambiguity of the model because we must to predict the uh, independent to predict the dependent variable with minimum ambiguity the total ambiguity of the model or the total fuzziness of the model is in this form so we lead to a programming problem linear programming problem in this case <coughs> this is a typical perspective of crisp input and fuzzy output of the model. This is the lower bound and the upper bound, as the Professor Watada described yesterday. So we lead to such a linear programming model, minimize 
this subjective function subject to these limitations. Okay, by solving this uh, optimization problem, we estimate the parameters of the model, the centers and the left, right, and the uh, right spread of the coefficients, fuzzy coefficients of the model. Okay, <coughs> the second approach is fuzzy least squares derivation. <coughs> Again, consider this model with fuzzy parameters, and the main problem is to uh, find a best model, but with which criteria? Now we consider another criteria. We wish to find the parameters of the model so that the distance between the observed value, between the observed value, for example, this is the observed value of the, uh, of the independent variable, and the estimated one, which is obtained based on the model, is minimal. But with, this, with uh, which criteria, with which distance? There are a lot of distances between fuzzy numbers. And for example, a typical one is uh, this one, these distances. These distances is based on the alpha cuts of the fuzzy sets. For example, <coughs> if this is the fuzzy number M and fuzzy number N, then in alpha cut we have two, uh, two interval and the distance is based on the distances between alpha cuts which are intervals between two fuzzy numbers. <coughs> it, is, uh, simply, uh, it, it is simple to verify that this is, the, is exactly is exact uh, distance between two fuzzy numbers. So, similar to a statistical uh, approach, uh, we want to minimize the, the sum of distances between the, between the observed value and the estimated values. Sum of a square error, similar to the statistical one. By uh, using the matrix uh, notations, we can uh, simplify these uh, arguments and finally we lead to such a uh, equation, matrix equations. By solving these matrix equations, we can find the center and the spreads of the parameters of the model. <coughs> but for evaluating the goodness of fit of the models, we have several uh, goodness of fit criteria. For example, the first one is the mean degree of membership. Mean degree of membership is suitable for the models with crisp uh, observed independent variables and <coughs> we define this uh, criteria for evaluating the model. In the cases when the observations of the dependent variables are crisp, Mean square error, we may uh, use a similar uh, MSE as, in, uh, as uh, it's used in the statistical modeling. We defuzzify the outputs <coughs> based on the model and compare it with the observed value. Although this is, is I think it is not a very good criteria. And another one is the similarity measure. <coughs> it is <coughs> useful for the cases, for the model, for the regression models, in which the observations of the dependent variables are also fuzzy. We have uh, fuzzy observations and fuzzy estimated values. The similarity measure between observ observed values and the estimated values based on the model. The mean of similarity measure is a good criteria, but which similarity measure? There are several similarity measures between fuzzy numbers. <coughs> a typical uh, similarity measure is in this form. Another criteria for evaluating the fuzzy regression model, mean of errors, which is introduced by Kim and Bishu, <coughs> uh, and is defined in this form the absolute value between the 
observed and estimated value of the dependent variable and we divided it by, in, by this uh, expression so that we have relative uh, uh, error. If we <coughs> take the mean of this error, we have the mean of error as a criteria for evaluating the fuzzy regression model. Another criteria which is uh, defined by Chen and Sue, uh, mean of distances which is based on the alpha cuts of the estimated and observed values of the uh, observations. So we have five criteria. <coughs> but uh, the second one and the fourth and five one uh, I think better than the first and two. Uh, we have a practical example but um, because of the time I ignore this. So, we are going to <coughs> go to the part two. Over the <coughs> last decades, <coughs> fuzzy regression models have investigated in various uh, approach, <coughs> but <coughs> there are some problems with regression modeling in fuzzy environment. <coughs> what are the main problems? <coughs> there are some problems due to outliers. I call it the problem of outliers. Outliers in fuzzy regression modeling, it depends on two cases. The outliers of the center of data, outliers of the spreads of data. In a statistical regression modeling, we have just one type of outliers, outliers of the data. But in the fuzzy regression modeling, we have outliers of the center and outliers of the spreads. Another problem is the problem of spreads deviations issues. In such cases, the, the, the spreads of the data increase or decrease or we have variation of the spreads. So we, uh, some problems arise uh, in these cases for modeling the, the data. And another problem is the problem of non-specific regular model, non-linearity or large domain for independent variables. <coughs> so we have some difficulties in modeling the, such a data. <coughs> what are the alternative methods for removing these problems? We <coughs> proposed least squares, least squares based methods for <coughs> for removing the problem of outliers, as is in statistical modeling. So I called it robust with respect to outliers. Some robust methods, with, but robust with the with respect to outliers. Regarding the variable spread methods, we must introduce some regression models which, is, which are robust with respect to spread deviations. And for non-parameter, uh, we must introduce some non-parameter methods which are robust with respect to non-regular data sets. So robustness in fuzzy regression models, we can divide it in three categories. Robustness with respect to outliers, robustness with respect to spreads deviations, robustness with respect to non-regular data sets. For each case, we must introduce an, uh, a suitable method. <coughs> we introduce a new least absolute fuzzy regression model for removing the, uh, the problem of outliers. We introduce a new metric on the f uh, fuzzy number in this form. This is based on the absolute error terms, absolute uh, distance between centers and absolutes between absolute uh, distance between spreads. We prove that this uh, distance 
uh, this, uh, this uh, space is a complete metric space. And then we use this metric to model the data set with especially with the outlier data. <coughs> so consider this model, for example. <coughs> this, this is the simplest, sim uh, simplest case. <coughs> <coughs> Using this, uh, the introduced uh, distance, we, uh, with some cal calculations, we lead to such a uh, <coughs> non-linear programming problem Minimize, minimizing this target function subject to this uh, to these limitations this is a non-linear programming problem using the usual software we can solve this problem and obtain the parameters of the model There are several uh, issues in the in this uh, programming problem, and <coughs> we uh, compare our method with uh, a lot of methods in the literature with several examples, several data sets. I just uh, present one example because of the time. Uh, there are uh, famous data set introduced by Kim and Bishu, which are used by several authors in regression modeling. This is the data. Uh, crisp input, fuzzy output data set. Uh, Professor Choi and Buckley <laughs> used, uh, introduced a least squared, uh, a very good least squared approach to fuzzy regression modeling in 2008. Uh, for this data set, uh, their uh, model uh, yields this uh, equation. Also, <coughs> Chen and Sue, okay, Chen and Sue in no 2009 introduced another um, uh, approach to fuzzy regression modeling. For this data set, their model is in this is as follows. Hassanpur and co-workers in 2009 an, uh, introduced another uh, approach to fuzzy regression, least absolute regression method. Their model is here and our model is here. Now we compare these models uh, based on <coughs> mean of error <coughs> you see that mean of error uh, of our method is less than or all of them uh, this is the mean of similarity measure this is mean of error this is mean of similarity measure mean of similarity in in this regard our method and choi and uh, Buckley is near, but is much better than uh, uh, Kim and uh, uh, Chen and uh, Chen and another one. And also mean of distances for all purpose method in Tahiri and Kelkinama is uh, less than or all, all of the methods but similar to the Choi and Buckley. In this regard with the criteria of mean of distances our method and Choi and Buckley is similar but better than this one and in other two methods our method is dominated all of the models. Uh, <coughs> We have another two examples in this regard for comparing uh, this method. <coughs> another alternative method for removing the variable spread method. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, 
We have also introduced a variable spread method. Uh, this method is uh, <coughs> essentially introduced by uh, two authors uh, and we develop it based on the least absolute, least absolute error. Uh, <coughs> uh, this method combines the idea of least uh, absolute error and uh, uh, the idea of the uh, variable spread method in which the error term is not uh, a fixed term in the model. Each data has <coughs> uh, itself error term. For any prediction, we must use a approximate reasoning approach based on the fuzzy logic, based on the if-then rules, and we estimate the error terms for that uh, observations. So our model uh, does not have a fixed error term for all of the data. X data has itself uh, error term. So combining the idea of least absolute error method and uh, variable spread method and if the rules in approximate reasoning we develop a method uh, for removing the problem of uh, variable spreads. Uh, I just uh, we have three numerical examples for comparison based on several goodness of fit criteria. In all of them, our method dominates all of the uh, uh, already existing methods in their fuzzy regression modeling. <coughs> For example, I just one uh, example I explain. <coughs> uh, <coughs> a typical uh, data set in regression is due to Tanaka uh, and co-workers. <coughs> This is the Tanaka data. <coughs> As you see, we compare our method with Chen and Dang's method and also the Machinchi and co-workers methods. Both of these methods are very new methods and both of these methods dominated a lot of methods in the fuzzy regression model and our method dominates both of them. For example, in the similar, based on the similarity measure, <coughs> the sum of similarity measure for the Tanaka data set in our method is 3, in the Chen and Dang is 2.6, for Machinchi is 2.5, uh, approximately 2.5. So in, based on similarity measure, our method is better. And for example, in the error, relative error term, we have 3.0, the Chen and Dang's method 3.6, and the Machin Chi et al. 3.5. So it's less than or both of them. Another example are exists, but I ignored it because of the time. Or uh, we, we use uh, another data set, another uh, famous data set for comparing our method also. This method, I think, removed the problem of variable spreads, especially when the data set includes the, some outliers. Uh, the final uh, approach for removing the, uh, <coughs> the non-specificity of the data set. It is a <coughs> Uh, it is a non-parametric approach. Uh, I explain it by a figure. This is a uh, <coughs> real data set based in the hydrology. It uh, <coughs> related uh, to the suspended load of the uh, rivers and the uh, and the debit of the water in the rivers. The data is based on the uh, study in the northeast of Iran. This is the real data set. Uh, the form of data, you see that it is not a regular form. 
it is a non-linear form but Mars uh, regression in the statistical methods uh, which is based on some kernel methods uh, and <coughs> spline methods it is a uh, more or less new method in a statistical methods for considering and uh, modeling in these data sets data sets with non-regular forms we combined Mars fuzzy Mars regression methods with fuzzy regression methods to handle the data set with non-specificity uh, model and we all uh, and uh, especially when the data set includes some outliers we have outliers also and non-specificity in the model we have non-regular model the Mars methods uh, use a method in which uh, we have some cutoff point for dividing the data the uh, determination of this cutoff point is very important in the Mars method we use Mars method for modeling such a data in which the observations of the dependent arrival are fuzzy because the suspended load in the river cannot measure it exactly uh, we compare our method with several existing methods also with ba based on uh, based on uh, several data sets and several goodness of fit criteria we compare our method with the method by Zhu and Li and Chen and Dang and Ferraro and uh, co-workers in both of in uh, based both of criteria mean similarity measure mean uh, average of uh, deviations our method is better than all of them note that each of these methods dominates some of the other methods and but uh, our method dominates all of them for example based on mean of similarity measure we get uh, point, uh, 0 0.67 but Ferrari uh, and co-workers uh, get uh, 0 0.39 which is a very new method and also based on the mean of uh, uh, distances I think uh, <coughs> this method uh, this method uh, can overcome uh, the problem of the problem of a non-specificity based model in the regression it is you it is useful for the uh, huge data and for the case when the uh, data has not a regular model mm, for example non-linear non exactly uh, exactly function and uh, Uh, <coughs> we have uh, also some topics for more research for more research <coughs> although we introduced several uh, model for uh, removing some problem in the regression fuzzy regression or regression model in fuzzy environment but there are some problems in for more research the effect of sample size it needs for more study fuzzy logistic regression it is uh, a very topic for more research fuzzy regression using heuristic methods uh, the effect of high dimensional data and uh, the effect of large number of variables especially in computational procedures fuzzy regression using Bayesian approaches and uh, regression based on fuzzy if-then rules similar to our method in the Mars fuzzy regression and our method in the uh, fuzzy uh, in the uh, variation spread fuzzy regression model <coughs> and regression considering both fuzzy and possibilistic probabilistic elements for example pro probabilistic regression which imprecise observations these uh, <coughs> subjects may be good for more research for the new researchers and young researchers also excuse me because of the time i ignore a lot of materials of the talk thank you much <coughs>